So we're back with our last uh, calculation as it pertains to concentrations goes, and this is amount concentration. Now the nice thing about amount concentration is that it's in units of moles per liter. So we can use unit analysis for this, and we've done unit analysis for a couple of other concepts like calculating moles and mass using molar mass, and we've done unit analysis to convert pressures. Uh, in the gas unit. And so the concept here is completely the same. It's just using a new set of units, not kilopascals and millimeters of mercury or grams and moles, but instead moles and liters. And so if I want to find something that has a unit of moles per liter, then I just, I need moles and I need liters. Very much like if you had a summer job and you're working the job and you know how many dollars you made and how many hours you worked, well, you can calculate how many dollars per hour you worked by doing a simple calculation of dollars divided by hours. And so this is no different. If I had, for example, a substance where I had six moles dissolved in two liters of a solvent, then this would give me a concentration of three moles per liter. And that's a really simple calculation. Sometimes what they can ask you to do is they might give you the concentration and the volume and ask you to calculate the moles. And this is where I want you to really uh, use the unit analysis uh, tools that I've taught you so far to solve for a problem like this. So instead of doing this by algebra, it's better to do it through unit analysis. So I would say two liters of that substance and I've got three moles per liter. I'm looking for moles, so that's gonna go on the top, the liters cancel and I have six moles of that substance. So you can see that works out. Also, you can do it where they give you the moles and you have to calculate the volume or the liters. And so then you would go liters on the top and the moles on the bottom. Three, again, three moles per liter is the same as saying for every liter I have three moles. And that's what I've written here. And I've written it this way so that the units can cancel. Again, unit analysis. And that gives me two liters. So you can see how unit analysis can get me to the, the place where I need to be. So I've got an example over here on the, on the right where uh, we've got uh, a sample of sodium chloride. But here now they've given us a mass. And the mass is 10.9 grams and it's dissolved in a volume of 250 milliliters of water, and it wants the amount concentration. So remember, for amount concentration, we need to have moles and liters. And so if you remember back from when we did unit analysis of moles and molar mass, we can get mol moles from that using grams and molar mass. So 10.9 grams, Setting up my, my system this way where I've got moles on the top, grams on the bottom, I divide these two numbers together and I get 0 0.1865 blah 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 in your calculator. And you want to make sure that you leave that big long number in your calculator. Don't round answers in the middle of your calculations. We're not done yet. And so it's important that before you get to your answer that you keep all the long numbers in your calculator so you're not rounding rounded numbers. That's not a good practice to have. And now it's asking for amount concentration, which is moles per liter. Well, I've got moles now. So now I just have to take my volume, make sure it's expressed in liters. This is a little tricky. It's in, expressed in milliliters. So I just have to convert that into units of liters. And then I divide the two together, this number divided by that number, and I get my number in moles per liter. And there's my answer. Um, what you can also do or be asked and what you'll see in your practice questions is you'll see where they'll give you the concentration and a volume and then they will ask you to calculate the mass of that substance. So again it's employing the same skills that I showed over here. We can calculate moles by using volume and concentration. We just have to cancel the units out once I have moles then I can convert that into a mass by using the molar mass of the substance that's listed in the problem, and then I'm, I'm on my way. And that's how you guys can do these, these problems and questions. Good luck to you.